Hey guys, I'm Haley and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I was just going to do a little bit of a vlog and kind of like a update on Ophelia. Basically in this vlog, I'm going to be riding O and um, we're actually working on a bit of cantering today, which is um, pretty exciting for her. Are you tired? <laughs> um, basically, I'm going to be tacking up Ophelia if she ever stops yawning. <laughs> I'm gonna tack up Ophelia and I'm gonna ride and uh, that's gonna be the video today. So I've already got all my tack laid out. I'm still using my jumping saddle with her as well as some brushing boots and tendon boots, but I'm actually putting her in a polo bridle today because we're working on her bringing her head down while she's riding. You're still yawning. I'm pretty much only riding Ophelia right now because Missy's on a vacation, Savannah's on a vacation, and Libby's on a vacation. So pretty much none of my horses are in work except for Ophelia right now. I have to get O's tacked up, so let's get her started. So basically what this new bridle is to help with is when she's being ridden she likes to have her mouth really open and she kind of tries to flip her tongue over the bit and i don't know if that's a habit from when she was racing or what but basically this bit is going to help her keep her head down more because anytime i'll apply bit pressure it'll add a little bit of pressure to her pole up here so it'll ask her to bring her head down more your head up. Lift your, lift your head up. I have to close the door. So similar to my last vlog, I'm probably still riding with both of my parents. So you guys are going to see them too. So Ophelia has come a really long way when it comes to her neck reining. I'm pretty much able to neck rein her for about 60 to 70% of the time when I'm riding. I generally start off by warming up with two hands and direct reining instead of actually neck reining only because I want to make sure that she remembers everything before I start hopping right into neck reining. The time it takes for her to completely understand neck reining again is getting shorter and shorter every time and that's super awesome. She's also bending really nicely all the time and she generally goes at a pretty consistent good pace. And she actually used to not be super cool with other horses coming too close to her, especially up behind while we were riding. But now she's actually pretty cool with it. Which is good, considering generally during polo, there's anywhere between five and nine other people in the area she's riding. Sometimes midway through a turn, she will forget how to neck rein a little bit, so I'll just have to drop my hand down and direct rein her a little bit while I'm turning. I'm also continuing to make sure that whenever she stops, she uses her hind end. I think I got you in it. After I worked at the trot for about 10 minutes or so, I think, I started going into the canter. We've only been working on the canter for this last week, basically. So it's still definitely a work in progress. 
We have primarily been working on getting her to not totally explode into the canter because back when she was a racehorse, she would be totally allowed to explode into the gallop out of the gates. So when I first started cantering on her, she would kind of take off right away as if she was leaving the gates at the racetrack. And I've basically been working on trying to get her to go into the canter a lot smoother, as well as once she's in the canter, getting her to be a lot more consistent and smooth. I was also stopping quite a bit to work on her bending her neck. We worked a bit more at the canter and she kind of likes to ride with her head a little bit to the outside wall. So every time she would start doing that with her head, I would ask her to go in a circle away from where she was trying to put her head and she would start bending again like she's supposed to. I didn't do a ton at the canter today because I'm still fitting her up so I didn't want her to be too completely disgustingly sweaty after I was done riding. One thing that we always do when we're training is you always want to end on a good note. So once she was cantering how I wanted to, I slowed down and I went back to trotting. At the trot and walk, I basically was only neck reining and working on that part, just letting her cool out before we were done riding. That looks like a good time. So steamy. You are such a sweaty little monster. So Ophelia was good. I'm basically heading over to my parents' barn now with my saddle because I'm going to ride one of their babies. So Crianza is actually one of our homebreds because I saw a comment the other day asking about we should, that we should breed horses, but we already did. So these are all of our, she's one of our main babies that we still have. I'm just stick and balling her today so that my dad doesn't have to ride all three of the babies that we're doing today. I don't know how big she is, so I'm guessing. I hope she's a 49. Stop barking so fast. I don't know why I'm doing that. Ow! Yeah. What? Yeah. Too young? Well, they're not really young. What's that? Oh, it's two inches. 
She's sturdier. She's stockier. Oh, she definitely is stockier. My legs are a little farther apart. Good for little people. Okay, we're going to get over here. This is my filming circle. <laughs> what was even running me over? We'd have pack that down in that one spot. I know. I said. I told the. I told the Haley family that it was my filming circle. I can't, oh, I can barely read her mallets. She did a whole TikTok of cleaning her mallets. Look at them now. Did she really clean them? I didn't want to clean those ones. The door! I heard that whiz by. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Look at how pretty it is. So basically just during this lockdown, we've been focusing on all of our young horses and our babies that we have to train because uh, like I was talking about a bit earlier, we have three of our homebreds that we're working on. So 
We're just basically training during this whole lockdown. Are you dry yet? Oh, you are a sweaty little monster today. I'm gonna have to body clip you soon. So I'm all done. I basically just have some treats to give all the girls just because I love, that was my whole hand. Just because I love you. Here you go. So polite. Oh, look at you with your haircut. And of course, I have to give some treats to Maya. Maya the Dino Pony. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, I had a lot of fun taking you guys through my little afternoon of riding the two babies that I had to ride today. So the reason most of my videos have been vlogs lately is because I basically am only riding babies right now. Like I'm not actually doing a whole lot. Plus I really like filming vlogs and they're a lot of fun. So let me know down in the comments if you guys also like the vlogs and maybe I'll keep it going. Maybe Thursdays will be my vlog day. But anyways, if you guys like today's video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Make sure to check out my Instagram and my TikTok accounts. I'll make sure to leave the usernames to those down in the description. And make sure to turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you later.